Right, it's, um, <coughs> it's quarter to nine. I've been in the house for an hour. More or less waiting for it to warm up, actually. Uh, it's like a Karoo ice in the air. And I was actually quite quite chilly, cold, you know, when I got you. So, filled up. Ate the, ate the lovely breakfast I got from... Thanks, Tangeni. Ate the lovely breakfast from the Bethany Bunch. Chatted with some tourists from Canada. Chatted with another guy. Got a nice pick with Tangeni, the attendant. And it it's uh, it feels a bit warmer. Um, so all systems go. Reset that some elastic bands over my wrist um, and I kept thinking I'd need a spanner to tighten these things for the for the GoPro um, but of course I had already thought about that. I got a little Phillips star screwdriver. Little dumpy screwdriver. Because uh it's I mean that's that's how you tighten it. Duh. Um so this is all nicely tight with my little kit that I screwdriver I keep in my tank bag. So that's us. My word, I thought it was. But I, yeah, like I think it's a start of 4x4 stuff on the right here. There's all sorts of whatever's going on, but. If it may be the place to, um, to base or yourself or, oh, who knows. Eh? So that was an hour break. Hey. That wind is now pleasantly uncold. Coming straight from the eastern side it seems. up ahead we should get the T-junction uh, there the road's coming from the left I think somewhere somehow where I was before no oh, no that's just a railway line okay so that is the road up ahead. Just got to join it. My GoPro is nice and stabilised. Rosh Pin is 160 k's. So it's a fair little stretch on doing today actually. As I did my calcs. Here we are, 163 to Rashpina. So that's a solid two hours I would say. Or almost. Now uh, 50, so quarter to nine. Half past ten, quarter eleven, which is still... Excuse me, seemingly quite... Uh, 
I don't know how hot it's going to get because this weather, I mean this wind is still quite nippy. Prepared for that, a little chilly ride. Um, I've got that red top of mine, that thin little K-way. I don't know, it's not a fleece exactly, but it's like a whatever. I might, uh, oh, Jesus, my tank bag's open. Sorry. Um, It could be something I just uh, wear, you know, I'm suspecting it's chilly, it's easy, just uh, pull it off, throw it in my tank bag. Just got to keep it out. So on a previous uh, video, I made a complete clutch of myself. Uh, complete cultural ignorance. Um, saying the south of Vindhuk everyone seemed to be more you know Afrikaans speaking but it, you know the I was all speaking to Tangani because he's Vambo which of course is very uh, north north Namibia he said look there's not a lot of Vambos and Herreros down this side because I asked him what language he's speaking and then I was asking about the local population he said no they Damaras and Namas they indigenous to the area uh, with their own language so obviously everything uh, but what what the hell confused me is that Afrikaans is one of their languages that they speak you know it's like okay so how the hell does that work uh, so pardon my ignorance previously stop okay this is quite more interesting terrain I said it before but I love my little KLR but uh, I'd love to be able to cruise at 120, 140 in our nice open stretches of road um, which does sort of make me wonder what what other bike I could get no, I think the KLR is coming out with a new... The KLR is such a uh, classic, but they stopped them in 2018 or something. I think it's because of the catalytic converter problems or restrictions and can't sell in the North American market. Kind of pretty much out. So they just stopped, but I think they are coming back. Uh, so that'll be interesting to see what that is and then of course there's the, the, the yummy Tenere 700 which is actually quite a beast um, well I guess then you're also looking at the KTM 690 uh, so 790 eh? that's a I mean that is a beast of a machine of course uh, you know Kawasaki, uh, BMW, the F, F800s, uh, you got a Suzuki, the DR, competing in that space. So, it could be fun to see, and I'll have to um, keep this little baby, because she's going to get me all the way to Kigali, she'll be my 
my first museum piece. Alright guys, you got to look at that uh, terrain. Quite interesting, eh? Flat, flat nothingness. Which, again, in my ignorance, I'm saying this must have been seabed maybe. bit of a wind coming in I'm not sure, it's coming from the left again I'm trying to look at the grass to see how much from the left very strong I've got a feeling it's actually coming from behind me slightly so it's a bit of a buffet but it's actually if I put my hand out like this it's actually you know I'm going on almost 110 it's not nearly that's not nearly the force of 110 110 will be harder so I think it's a little bit behind me all right enjoy that view GoPro's nicely tight we'll see you soon